Have you been to the Northern Beaches Hospital? What has it been like for you there? It looks lovely. It's searching for a new chief executive and uh, the multi-billion dollar company running it is restructuring in some way. We're now hearing about cuts in staffing, in maternity and in mental health. Dr Sophie Scomps is the independent for McKellar on the Northern Beaches and joins me now on ABC Radio Sydney. Good morning. Thanks for your time. Thank you. What are you hearing about uh, changes to nursing staffing levels at the hospital? Well, Sarah, we've been hearing for a long time that the staff, the nursing staff in particular, are feeling very burnt out. Their morale is already very low and they're very stressed. And so this on top of that already is a real blow to them. And um, it really means that patient care, the people of the Northern Beaches have been dotted when it comes to patient care. What, what's happening here, the Northern Beaches Hospital is a public-private partnership, so it sort of is regulated by a private company, HealthScope. So it's not, um, it doesn't have to adhere to the same rules and regulations that our public hospitals have to. So when it comes to issues like uh, nurse-patient ratios, the public hospitals um, have newly mandated ratios that have been implemented, but the Northern Beaches Hospital now no longer has to adhere to those. So there's real issues here. So it had to for a while, but now it doesn't. And so that could be around where they're changing these shifts. It could be. It could be. I mean, there's also a lack of transparency here because it is a privately run hospital. But, yes, so there was a contract. Nurses had a contract uh, with HealthScope that they're that they would match the uh, nurse-patient ratios that were um, being adhered to in public hospitals, but that has now expired in last October, so we're seeing these changes now. Mm. The Northern Beaches Hospital says it's begun consultation with its team on some minor staffing and rostering across its adult mental health and maternity services, but proposed changes will in no way compromise the quality of patient care and will have a minimal impact on existing roles. Can they restructure and change the shifts without it having an impact on patients? Look, I think these cuts are coming on top of already um, a a nursing staff that is stretched to the absolute limit. We've been hearing, I've been in office for nearly two years now, I've been hearing throughout that whole time how stressed, burnt out, how low the morale is in the hospital. And so these cuts come on top of that already stretched system. So really it is a blow to the nurses. And and a lot of people are saying to us that they're hanging in there because they love the the profession, they're passionate about their profession, they, they love looking after the people of the Northern Beaches, but they don't know how much longer they can hang in there under these types of conditions. Yes, I, I think one of the cuts involves one of the shifts at the uh, private mental health unit, which reduces the ward to three nurses. So given that we've got so many issues and so difficult to find a bed in terms of, of mental health, are you worried about access to to actual health care in your Electorate? I mean, I'm extremely worried. Already I'm worried. Um, already we have a crisis in mental health across the area, particularly in adolescent mental health. Um, this cut, so one quarter of the staffing is being taken out of uh, adult uh, mental health care. That That's a huge amount. And this is very specialised training as well. So you can't just pop uh, agency nurses in there that don't have that specialised training. So I am deeply concerned about access to mental health care acute services on the northern beaches. And this is on top of the, um, the recent decline by the hospital to actually open up an adolescent mental health unit uh, inside the hospital, despite being uh, granted money from the state government to do so. There was going to be a four-bed adolescent mental health unit, which is desperately needed down Mm. here, Mm. Um, and and that hasn't gone ahead. They've refused to go ahead with that. So we're now looking, working with the state government, how we reallocate that money to services in the community. But it is a devastating blow, and I think this is just shows that inevitable uh, tension when you have a private company running uh, a hospital, the tension between um, having to make profits and patient care, and it's a real problem. And this is the only hospital in the state that is running this way, and I think the people on the northern beaches are currently being dudded. Do you want to hear a happy customer? Yes. (laughs) Here's Lucy from DY. Hi, Lucy. Hi there. How are you? Good. You just came out of the northern beaches hospital. I've just about uh, six weeks ago, oh, not even that, came out of the Northern Beaches Hospital. I was in the public system. 
I could not be happier with the treatment I received. I had a hip replacement. It's not mental, but some people thought I might have needed a mental help. <laughs> but that, honestly, they, the service was impeccable from surgeon right down to the people who produced the food. Everything was absolutely fantastic. You got attention the minute you rang your little bell. Um, they didn't mind. I mean, they, they went over and above if you'd had uh, needs to be associated with the pain or whatever. Mm. I think it's fantastic. Oh, well, that is very good to hear. You had a good service and now you've got a good hip, Lucy. It's going well. Oh yeah, I've been. I'm running now. I mean, Excellent. I've been, yeah, I, I, I seriously. Um, the the physio was great. The, okay. Good. Oh, everything was great. Well, that's good. You know, we're 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 trying to to find out what the experience is, and in terms of the hip care for Lucy, it was great. Dr. Sophie Scomps is the MP for McKellar, which covers the Northern Beaches. We're talking about the Northern Beaches Hospital. The issue is around um, changes to nursing care in maternity and mental health. I'm getting some good reviews in terms of. Um, other areas too. Dialysis ward, can't fault it at all. It's really, really good. Um, and another one saying the emergency unit was fantastic. The skin clinic was really good. Nurses, professional and kind, couldn't ask for more and all on Medicare, says Brenda. But a couple of others are saying they did have um, a bad experience because the nurses were really busy. And this happens in public systems too. Uh, Sophie Scomps, in terms of, of what you're hearing, are different areas of the hospital coping better than others, perhaps? Um, I think um, that's a really great reflection on the on the staff, the medical staff and the nursing staff. They are. They, there's nothing. We can't take anything away from them. They're fabulous, and you know the highest levels of care. So it's fantastic to hear that. Um, and so you can expect a good level. You can expect medical professionals who are going to do their utmost to look after you in those conditions. But what we're hearing is from the nursing staff that they themselves are very concerned about one the level of inexperience of many of the staff and also also to the the, um, the amount of patients that they have to look after. So um, it is good to hear it's working. When you mentioned dialysis, we've had a lot of um, different complaints as well about the waiting list to get on the dialysis. There's a real um, limit there. So it's good to hear that when they finally get in, that's great. Another issue is the outpatient care. Um, it is very limited in its scope. So it's good to hear that there's a, you know, there's a post-op skin care clinic or wound care. But many of those services which are provided by other public health um, hospitals those specialised medical chronic conditions like cardiology, respiratory, gastro, they're not available uh, at the hospital. So that's another thing where people from the Northern Beaches will have to travel to other hospitals to get those services. Mm. But I um, can't fault the medical or nursing staff, absolutely class one, and they're brilliant. And many of these people have been working, you know, at Monavale Hospital and Manly Hospitals in the past as well. So they are very committed to their care. Yeah, well, of course, and, and they do great work. Um, quite a few people are saying that they feel that it's um, it's a service, the whole public-private uh, partnership has not worked. Uh, it hasn't replaced the, the Manly Hospital that was public. Uh, what are your thoughts on whether, can we declare this a partial success or a failure and never do it again? Well, I think we, we saw a, um, a number of years ago that Port Macquarie Hospital was... Um, repurchased by the um, state government at the time because it had failed. It got to such a point um, where the, the doctors were going to go on strike. They weren't going to do any more elective surgery for a while because there just wasn't the resources to do it. So we do not want to get to that position. Um, we need to make sure that there is adequate um, staff to patient ratio care. We need to make sure it's safe. And I think we need to listen to our nursing staff as well who are on the ground there, who are living this day in, day, in, day out and who are feeling out and stretched and of course they give their utmost to patient care they're wonderful people but I think we need to start listening to them particularly about what their needs are and I think if the rest of the hospitals in the state have mandated uh, nurse to patient ratios then the very least that can happen at the Northern Beaches Hospital is that they match those they can't be a lower standard at this public private um, hospital that that is just not acceptable thanks so much for your time I'm going to take some more calls about how people felt about their their service there thanks for your time